Hello, hello, hello. What's up, CCLers? This is Steve, the Valiant One on ComicCollectorLive.com. And in today's tutorial video, I want to talk to you about searching. That's right. Using the search features on Comic Collector Live, it can be a bit daunting. Uh, Comic Collector Live is one of the best online comic uh, resource libraries you'll find. And you may ask yourself, self, why am I having such a hard time finding what I'm looking for? Well, today I'm going to try to give you the rundown on these different search engines or search features that we have on uh, CCL, how to use them, and some tips and tricks along the way. First off, we're going to assume A, you're already a member of Comic Collector Live and you're already signed in and you're on the homepage. So, the first question you ask yourself is where is the search? Well, there's lots of different searches on here, but depending on how you want to look will be dependent on which one of the searches that you push. Obviously here, there's a place you can do a search title. There's also a search up here. Um, over here on the side, there's a search library uh, that you can do a breakdown on your search. And then over here, uh, you can actually do items for sale. Let's start off with the ones that's over here on the left hand side, the search library. We'll search by title. Now, some of these are going to bring you to the same page, but I want to kind of show you what happens with uh, each one of them as you do them. Now, from this part here, you get a brief snapshot of the top of your dashboard, including the items you have in your collection. And right here is where you want to search for title. Now let's say you want to see all of the old issues of Marvel's Star Wars from the 70s, okay? I believe that book came out in 1977, 78, something like that. Well, we want to type in Star Wars right here in the search engine. If you type in search for just Star Wars, you'll notice that what we get is essentially, well, I hope you like Star Wars, because we're getting every title in the CCL library that is associated with Star Wars. We've got the 2015 one, there's Star Wars Adventures from 2017, uh, Forces of Adventure, classic Star Wars, my God, there's just all kinds of stuff, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna narrow that search down by including the year that the title comes out because Comic Collector Live has a format a specific format that we use to identify titles. Uh, and that usually is by year, because you know, for example, Marvel had a Star Wars title in 1977. It subsequently ended in the 80s. However, it rebooted in 2015. So let's just type in 1977 here, where we had Star Wars in the search. And you can see it narrowed our search way, way down to one title. And that is the Marvel title that we were looking for from 1977 to 1986. And when you go in there, you'll see all these nifty books and the variants and whatnot. It's gonna hit the back button and take you back here. But as you can see, that's how that works. The, the narrower, the more information you include in your search, the more refined your search will be. You can even do, if you, uh, that includes, let's say if you're looking for the Star Wars 2015 title, if you type in Star Wars 2015, boom, here's the Marvel title from 2015. See that? Then you can click on the individual issues in that. Now a little shortcut, let's say you don't know exactly what year. You don't know it was 1977, okay? But we do know that Marvel only had two titles that came out at that time, so it's not the 2015 one you want, it's the 1977 one, but you don't know it's 1977, and we just type 19 in there. We're gonna get the same result, see that? We still get the 1977 title, because it's looking off of the first two digits of the year, 19 in 1977. It works the same way if you would be doing it with the 2015 title, if you just type Star Wars 20 in there, what you get here is the titles broke down by, it's not quite as refined, but you still get a, a significant breakdown in titles. You actually get the 2015 one and the 2020 one, depending on which one you want. 
Now let's just take a look inside the, uh, let's go back to the 1977 one. We're gonna go in the title. Now one thing you can do within here, I'm just gonna show you this while I'm here because it's, it's a pretty nifty thing you can do. This, the search box is now turned into an issue jump. So you don't have to sift through the entire title to get to what you're looking for. Let's say you wanna see issue 50. You type in 50 in the search engine when you're here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start your search at issue 50. See that? Now you can't do that when you're searching in the titles. You can only do that when you're in the title itself. So if we hit that X and it brings us back out to the title. Another thing you can do also to refine your search is you have the on and off variants thing here. If I shut those off, I'm only gonna get the A covers. See that? We don't have all of those other covers that's in the database. We click it back on, see look. Now we're getting the 35 cent newsstand cover, the second print, the, the, the Philippines edition, the Dark Horse comic pack. So that's how that search works. Okay, we're not gonna go into the, the tabs over here. I just want you to understand the search feature itself. Now that's searching the library. And that works the same way if you're going up here to this one as well. But it, it all, it, those two basically work the same way. Okay, now let's say you wanna see what books are for sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to items for sale in the upper left here. And underneath that is all comics for sale. What it's going to do here is you can do your search for your title, say Star Wars 1977. We're going to use that as our basis. And what it's going to show, it's not going to show every book. See that, look, notice that the variant, uh, the tab is on here but we're not seeing any variants. Why is that? Well, because not all of those books are for sale. These are only the items in the cover title, Star Wars 1977, that are for sale by CCL sellers. So if we click on 7A, for example, we see Blue Moon Comics has a copy in fine condition for six. We see Paul's Attic has one copy for 14 in very fine. So that's how those search options work that are on the side. One thing I wanna break down to you also is you, you don't just have to search by title on the search library. You can do a search by publisher, story arc, character credits, new releases, and uh, all that stuff. Story arc, for example. One of my favorite story arcs is Secret Wars. If I type that in there, we're gonna get a list of story arcs and tags, and tags are essentially hacks that are in Comic Collector Live that you can refine a certain search by. For example, an homage cover to Secret Wars 1. But I'm wanting to look at the original Secret Wars. So I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna get every title, or er, sorry, not every title, every issue, no matter if it's a comic book, graphic novel, whatever, anything that's tagged with graphic no uh, with the tag Secret Wars in it. So anything Secret Wars related is gonna show up in that particular search. While I'm thinking about it, I'll show you it in the next step here. Up at the blue bar up here is the search engine as well, the search button. Okay, when you click that, we come to our familiar search here. This is gonna show us every book in the database, not just ones for sale, okay? And if you'll notice down here, in your recently viewed, this is a new feature that Comic Collector Live has. It's pretty spiffy. It remembers all of your searches up to a certain extent. So if you only look at certain ones over and over again, this is gonna be super handy for you. Let's see, we looked up Star Wars 1977, there's 2015. Here's some other titles I looked up recently. Transformers, Superpowers 1984, Ewoks, Droids. Yeah, I'm, I'm a kid of the 80s, what can I say? So 
those are how you see those titles. Now, one thing I do want to show you as well is you can refine your search not just for comics, but you can do a breakdown on anything. Let's say I'm looking for, let's say G.I. Joe. But I don't want to see comic books. I want to see, uh, what should we do here? These are all the things we catalog, graphic novel. Let's do action figure. And then we hit search. This is going to show every cover title for that has G.I. Joe in the name for action figures. You see that? So we're getting everything from the 25th anniversary play sets uh, and figures uh, to the original, um, some of the original stuff that came out right here, the basic three and three quarter inch figure line that ran from 1982 to 1984. Working the same way the comics do. See that? May not have known that uh, we had all those groovy action figures in here as well. Toy database still is growing, but it's pretty darn good right now. We got lots of stuff in there. But that's essentially how you use the search features on Comic Collector Live. I, I know it can be a little bit daunting because there's several different places you can search, but just think of Comic Collector Live as a huge library. And the more information that you give CCL to break your search down, the easier your searching will go. And hence your life will be, putting you one step closer to completing that set of Team America you've been looking to do for the last 30 years. I digress, but Team America is, is a fun book. But anyway, that's how you use the search feature. We appreciate you watching this. If you have any questions for us about what you've seen uh, in the search, if you're still having problems, you can shoot us an email at helpdesk at comiccollectorlive.com. We will be more than happy to answer your question and try to help you out and get you all hooked up. Uh, but once again, we appreciate uh, you being a, a part of our CCL family. We hope you're enjoying the update. Uh, you can also send us an email and let us know. And also check out all our great videos and content that we have on this channel. Lots of tutorial videos to show you what to do if you're having problems and you get a little stuck to get you over that learning curve, okay? We appreciate it very much. You have a great day and Viva CCL.